pain I'm tired of living inside the guidelines Hey guys, be sure to hit that subscribe button Make sure you click the bell for notifications So you're always up to date on what kind of content I'm releasing And be sure to drop a like So this way I know the material that I release is what you guys want to see Let's get into the video I'm torn between two phones. Full disclaimer here, I am an iPhone guy, but at work we have Windows desktops and uh, so everything has like a VPN and some you know, uh, proxies that block certain personal devices from being on work devices. What my job is offering me uh, as a work phone is an iPhone XR or a Samsung Galaxy S9. Among my family and friends, I'm the biggest tech whiz there is. My mom and dad always ask me for tech help. I'm sure there's plenty of videos out there that could give you side-by-side -side comparisons of what phones to use. This video is strictly me asking your opinion, should I go with the XR and get used to the newer model? Obviously, uh, it's a little different from the 8 Plus and it has a lot of cool features and I could get used to a better camera and things of that nature. Or should I completely switch it on everybody? Samsung S9. I always like to do things new, I also always like to uh, try things out for the first time. It's always been my passion to learn different tech and software. You guys don't care, you just wanna see the review. So, for a new work phone, what do I choose? iPhone XR or Samsung S9, and why? Let's check it out. I'm pretty used to how these boxes look. They're both pretty cool and bulky. Um, you know, I guess we'll start off with the, the iPhone. Let's give that a whirl. Oh. Cool, nice. The one thing I'm not used to because I always use the iPhone 8 Plus is, you know, there's no home button, obviously. So now I have a certain passcode in here. I can't let you see it, it's a secret. Pretty standard, really nice. See the overhead view there. I mean, it's it's like any other iPhone, wider screen, no home button, no little top where the, the camera used to be. So it's kind of cool. I know, I know a lot about the iPhone. Um, well, not a lot, but you know, I'm filming myself, filming myself. So that's the first video I ever tried out. Pretty cool. I noticed that on the new iPhones, um, and again, I could be way behind in this tech review kind of thing, and you know, maybe I do more up-to-date ones in the future, but if you're coming from an older iPhone into this new one, this is extremely frustrating just to get used to in the beginning, like anything that's new, any change that needs to be embraced. The box also comes with, Dave, Boom, boom, boom. We'll get back this is, into this in a second. I'll take a side-by-side -side picture of the camera to see which one has better, uh, see which one has better camera quality. I always like to see which one has the best camera quality. It's always my favorite. It's my faves. Okay, guys, let's go ahead now and check out this unboxing of the S9 uh, with the overhead view. You know, things get real fancy around here. So uh, obviously, this box has a sliding box out instead of the pull-up and. A little flippy flip action like that. And we'll see what you get here. You getting, I guess this is for the SD card. Uh, not the SD card, I'm sorry. The SIM card, uh, a little key, which I guess you put on the top. I guess you get a cool instruction book that I'm gonna read front to back. Right. This is the year of learning. This is the year of learning. You gotta get smarter. There's no, there's no point in sitting home and being dumb. What are you, dumb? Key thing. I'm gonna go ahead and keep that here. All right, and you have the little card for AT&T for the SIM card that it, that it came with, and this is the screen. As you can see, it's really, really nice. I like how thin it is and smooth and sexy. Let's see how this feels. Oh, oh, oh. A little anticlimactic. The other one had a up and down around the back action. Nevertheless, this actually I feel like is a lot thinner than the iPhone and, and you know rounded. That's pretty cool. I do like it. The little Cardi card that you got right here, the home base uh, adaptive fast charging thing right here. You know, pretty simple. USB charger for the phone. And you have the earphones. These are pretty cool too. So we're gonna go ahead and put these over here. Keep it there. That's pretty much it from the box setup. What do you guys think? Side-by-side -side comparison, how does that look? Do they do little cool things there? This is what it looks like side-by-side -side on the screen. You know, one's kind of bigger than the other. Pretty sure there's something comparable to the other one in the given year, so anyone leaving a comment like, you're an idiot, you're doing a review with two different years of phones. 
I get it, man. This is the only thing I was uh, able to choose from at work. So I'm asking more for functionality and you, you know, user interface and and you know, just trying to overall see if I should switch to something new and try to learn it, or sh if I should just stay with what I know, but also get used to the newer features that are a little frustrating from iPhone 8 Plus to XR. Not everybody's a millionaire like some of you guys. Let's take a look at how Apple and Samsung are doing in the market. The stock market has took a crazy plunge in a lot of different industries. Uh, so I started jumping on Robinhood. Now again, there's a couple of YouTubers out there that have made some videos about Robinhood having some issues, but for some first time investors and trying to learn how to use different uh, stocks and look into them and explore, Robinhood's a really, really cool app to use. Uh, so I just purchased um, Royal Caribbean stocks that are really, really low and JetBlue at really, really low because once this virus kind of, you know, even keels, then, you know, those, those stocks are probably gonna go back up because people are gonna start traveling again. You know, travel industry has really took a hit. So that's kind of why I'm all over the stock. Anyway, I always like to try to see what kind of products I'm reviewing and how they're doing in the stock market because that always makes it fun too. So let's just take a look present day as to, you know, what brand I want to get behind. Come take a look. So right now, Samsung is at 54,600 KRW, uh, which obviously that if you convert into US dollars, uh, it's Korean into uh, dollars is gonna be $46.08. Um, so again, you know, you got Apple at 285, Samsung overall is going to be, you know, a, an easier in, uh, in the stock market for $46. So they're constantly making changes. I know they have the new phone that flips up and flips side. If anybody has that phone and is doing a review on that, please leave a link or comment in the bottom. I'd love to check it out. Again, I'm trying to learn more about this stuff. Uh, but from what it looks like on here for Samsung stock, over the last five years, it's kind of gone up since 2016, P dropped a little and keeps going up in 20. So it has a really healthy growth pattern. Um, Apple, as always, has a healthy growth pattern, but you know, a as the uh, the phone markets are kind of like, you know, I'm, I'm interested in investing in, I'm really interested in investing in Samsung stock, so, you know, it made me think at work if I have the opportunity to try out a S9, why not try it out? Why not get used to its functions? Uh, I'd like to know what more capabilities it has as far as app applications and then, you know, does the picture is the picture quality for the, the uh, image and the video better than the iPhone? Now again, I'm not really sure about how these both these phones work, but uh, you know, cause I gotta get used to them. But I do, I mean, I do know how iPhone works. You have all these separate apps you could use. And what I've always heard from Galaxy users is this is so much more customized, customizable. What I do like about iPhone is they have their own ecosystem. So, you know, I've always worried about Microsoft in general over Apple and the viruses you could get on Microsoft uh, as opposed to Apple. That's not to say you can't get a virus on Apple. It's just, you know, because it's so much customization and so many more apps on Microsoft, you know, which one do you go with and why? I, I personally rather have it gated in Apple to know that I'm not gonna be susceptible to other viruses. So anyway, uh, let's just get into the fun stuff because, you know, all this other stuff, I could go around, but I'm not too familiar with it. Let's just take a, a solid picture of my dog and I will, uh, you know, I'll be right back and I'll post it on the screen. Messing around with the freaking um, Galaxy, trying to figure out how to turn the flash on. I even looked up a video. It, I looked up the wrong thing. It said for flash notification, it wasn't even the right one. And then I realized when I held down on it, it said that the battery was too low to use the flash. So that right there is kind of silly to me. I've never had that issue with an iPhone. Like if the battery's too low, the battery's too low and then it dies. It doesn't just not let you take a flash picture. Again, I, I have so many Apple products. I think Apple's so much easier for my video and music editing. Um, but then people make arguments all the time about, um, about Microsoft. You know, and uh, listen, as a, as a music editor, I used to love using the Fruity Loops app, and now they're starting to put Fruity Loops on Apple. So it's, it's always like, what do I do? I, I'm a, I have a PlayStation, I have an Xbox, I have, you know, I have all these different things. So I, one thing I'm very uncomfortable with is the S, uh, Samsung Galaxy. So maybe I'm gonna go in this direction, or maybe I just get used to what I already know and stick like this. I would love to know your advice, guys, and you know, what's probably gonna be better for me in the long run. 
With that said, really appreciate you guys taking the time watching this video. If you appreciate the content I put up, make sure you smash that like button. Be sure to subscribe too because I'm going to be doing a lot more videos. Would love to finally post a video of the unique Q500 crash uh, that I had in my buddy's GoPro and show you the comparison on those. I'm also in the need and uh, I'm also in market I'm also in need for the market of a new drone. So if you guys have any suggestions on those, drop that below as well. Uh, so yeah, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment uh, below about what you think I should uh, you know, ultimately get phone-wise for work. And then that's all. Have a great day. Appreciate your time. All right. Come again.